Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Kami Husen self-inflating paper balloon. It's a Japanese toy, which means paper balloon. Hello. Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Grace and I'm Ken. And today we're showing you Kami Husen self-inflating Japanese, Japanese paper balloon. All right, self-inflating. But look right here. There's a hole, I get all close, in the self-inflating balloon. So nothing's holding the air in, right? But what we're gonna do is Grace is gonna bring it down, deflate it a little bit, just kind of squeeze it down. It'll go down this way. About right there. Okay, so look, show us sideways. It's, oh, get the air out. And what we're gonna do is self-inflate it by hitting it back and forth to each other and it will blow back up. It's pretty amazing. Yep. Here we go, we hit it up. Despite having a hole being open to the air, the paper balloon remains inflated. But one might expect that the bouncing of the paper balloon would force the air out of its hole and cause the air balloon to deflate. Instead, hitting it actually increases the paper balloon to inflate as seen here. Part of the genius of this paper is which it is made. The paper is not only lightweight, but relatively impermeable to air. It also is a degree of plasticity and also allows it to deform easily and retain its resulting shape. Because of those properties, the balloon inflates to a volume with the air content and maintains the volume until while, additional air is added. As a result, the smashed balloon can accumulate air and eventually inflate to its full size from repeating bouncing. Even though the net pumping is just a single bounce, may be very small. A balloon made of plastic, rubber, and other materials doesn't have the same key properties as paper would to inflate like the, the Japanese balloon does. Japanese balloon. Pretty impressive, huh? Yeah. Makes its it. own little balloon. So I'm gonna try to inflate it myself. So while Grace tries to inflate the balloon by herself, the pressure accompanies the oscillation. The balloon is contracted, inside pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure. When expanded, it is lower than the atmospheric pressure. The pressure difference between the balloon and the atmospheric works to restore the balloon to its equilibrium position. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to share and click thumbs up. And thanks wow, for watching. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.